I think you're going to get some great value from this video today because I'm going to teach you something that's not only going to save your gear and thus save you money, but it might even change the way you think about flying entirely. Let's say a skateboarder is going to jump down a big set of stairs. If you don't land that, you could potentially break bones and injure yourself. So making that split second decision to not do the trick halfway through is what is known as the bail, how to bail. And we can do the same thing with drones. So what a skateboarder will do is line the trick up, start the trick, and then halfway through make a decision whether it's gonna be a clean landing or not. And if you decide, oof, this doesn't feel right, you kick the skateboard away, and then you land on your feet and you walk off, or you roly-poly or whatever. Now with the drone, we can do the same thing. Of course, we're not talking about injuring ourselves, but we are talking about wrecking our gear. So let's say we wanna hit a really tight gap. If you decide, and you can make that split second decision to bail, then you're gonna not crash, and that's gonna save your gear. Oh, oh, wow, punch. wow, okay, so that could have been bad. Woo. It's sort of a reactive skill that you learn just through flight experience. But I've got a couple of ideas, some drills that you can try and some practice tips and tricks that will hopefully help you fast track your way to be able to do this technique. And that's going to give you loads of extra confidence to be able to try that difficult trick or even do the difficult trick that you might not have been able to do before or that previously you might have crashed and wrecked your gear. So I hope you're going to find it really valuable. Let's jump on the stick cam and get into some practical demonstration. Well, let's do this. Okay, so this is really a pure reaction skill, so that's why it is a little bit difficult to teach. And if you're a gamer, if you play a lot of games, then you're going to have a massive advantage because you're going to have that kind of quick reaction skill set um, with your thumbs and your brain that's going to allow you to, you know, to really get good at this. And a lot of the pros and the top level pilots are just being able to bail and, and uh, save their gear at the very last second of um, you know, just through natural ability and practice. But we're going to fast track it. There you go, I did it a little bit there actually. Um, but yeah, we're going to fast track it with a really simple drill. And the drill, in a nutshell, is going to be flying at an obstacle and then bailing. So let's break that down a little bit and tell you why that's so useful to do. And the first important thing is your approach speed. So check your camera angle on your drone and make sure it's not too high. Mine's set to about 20 degrees, it's not too high. And you see the tendency for beginners is to have a high camera angle, to go up high in the sky and then just tear around really fast up here where it's safe. They're just completely out of control. I was like this myself. And then you decide, uh, oh, I'm gonna try this gap. And now you're coming in at a crazy speed and there you go, you're just zipping into the gap and it's, you know, it's all chaos. So all you need to do is completely tone that down, learn, how to kind of control your throttle, hover, and I'm always going on about this, but throttle management and, and speed is everything. Because if you've got your approach speed, if we're going for this gap and you're going this slow, you've got so much more time to react. Anyway, we'll get to the gap in a second, but first, what we're gonna do is try this drill. So we're just gonna approach very, very slowly. There's a side wind here, which is why I'm pitch, uh, rolled slightly left. And I'm just gonna fly backwards. Because of course, we don't have brakes on an FPV drone, but what we do have is the pitch stick. And so pitching backwards is effectively our brakes. And that's all it is with this drill. So first try it really slow, approach the wall quite slowly or any obstacle slowly, and then just pitch back and fly away. Now, if you only pitch back, what's gonna happen is you're gonna hit the floor because you're gonna lose altitude. So it's a little bit tricky, but what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna you're going to pitch back and blip the throttle and then when you start moving back this is a lot to think about i know but when you start moving backwards you're then going to pitch forward quite quickly because otherwise you know you'll just end up hitting the ground hopefully this isn't making you too dizzy as you're watching so that's it really you know that's the main drill that's going to help you to get good at this is just trying that approach and then bailing and then what you do is as you practice and you get better and better you just increase your approach speed so that you can kind of you know go really fast and then still be able to get out i mean don't straight away go all you know all guns blazing towards a wall like that because 
you're going to need some uh, some good brakes on the drone to get out of it. I mean, it's no problem for me because I've got that kind of muscle memory, but you can build that up and cheat your way to it um, by just sort of trying this drill. So let's sort of use it as a practical um, trick. Like, let's say we're actually going to go for this gap. See, there's a real big side wind today. I could see that, yeah, I'm definitely that. Okay, that's interesting. I actually didn't make it, but we still survive. So there you go, you know, we are human. Uh, let's do that again though. What I was trying to explain actually is a bit of a side wind. So uh, that side wind is kind of making lining up for the gap a lot more difficult. And uh, I'm pretty confident that I can hit that gap no problem. But if you decide at the last minute that you're not going to make it through this gap, you know, you just do the same thing. You just bail. And you can do it with dives. So let's say I'm going in here, just say, oh no, I don't want to do it. You just, same thing, except it's just a different angle. Okay, with a dive. Of course you're coming in vertically so all you do is just level off and fly away and when you get really good at this what i want you to practice is not only being able to bail but also being able to kind of flow out of it like this you see so we just continue that flow in line so we're going to go for this crazy hole decide oh no don't fancy it but then just kind of keep the line going by a little freestyle move there and just keep that flow going and, uh, and that's it so the main things to remember is camera angle make sure it's not too high throttle management and speed make sure you're not approaching too fast and then just keep practicing that drill you know keep going up and pitching back bailing and then get better and better at it and you'll get that reaction time so fast that you won't even know you're doing it you know you'll um You'll just find that you one day you lining up tricks and deciding at the very last second, boom, I don't fancy it, I'm gonna bail. Um, and it'll save you gear, it's really, really useful and definitely worth thinking about. For the sake of clarity, I'm gonna close this video out with a quick narration over this line where I was flying at an abandoned cement factory. And right in the middle of this line, I was able to bail from hitting a chimney and keep the flow going. It's really quick and maybe difficult to spot, but it's a good example. So you can use this to kind of line a trick up, get the feel for the trick and bail before doing the trick. It's useful for that, but you know, it can just be used to kind of save yourself from crashing. So uh, in this case, I was cruising around this abandoned building and uh, I wanted to kind of do a trick over the roof. Midway through the trick, here it is chimney and I had to kind of quickly react and keep that flow going. So it's not necessarily the pitch stick that does it, you can do it with the roll stick as well. What you need to keep in mind is your thrust vector, which direction is your thrust going and use that to arrest your momentum and react accordingly. Let me know in the comments what video you want to see, what level are you, what ability are you and what tricks and tips do you want to know and maybe I'll make the video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.